Hello, and welcome to Episode 8 of the Kerbex Interplanetary Space Program. My name is John, and today we'll be following the starship Event Horizon as it journeys to the distant planet of Duna. Event Horizon has a crew complement of 24, and will be setting up our mining operations on Duna. Before departure, an inspection is performed, starting with the ship's habitation section. Next, the ship's onboard lander, Puddle Jumper, is inspected. The ship's main cargo rack also contains processing facilities for carbonite and carborundum that is to be mined at Duna and returned to Kerbin. The massive main engines of the Event Horizon run on liquid hydrogen and require a large amount of power. The drive generator located at the rear of the vessel provides additional power for especially long burns. The undercarriage of the vessel contains both the Duna assembly facility and primary carborundum storage. The loading dock above it is designed for refueling and drop-off of mine materials. The science and scanning module permits the acquisition of information from the surface of orbited bodies, including locations of ore, carbonite, cathane, and carborundum resources. The ship's main generator is located directly in front of this section above the core capacitor. With the inspection completed, the Starship Event Horizon begins its journey. At over 3,000 tons, the ship is larger than anything previously built by our program, and despite Duna being one of the easiest planets to reach in the system, the initial burn takes nearly an hour. Event Horizon was assembled in orbit and is not able to enter atmosphere to perform an aerobrake maneuver. Instead, it must use its thrusters to slow down as it approaches the planet. Orbit around Duna has been established, and the crew begin to package and prepare the Duna assembly facility for launch. During this time, Kerbinot's Sam Fenn and Dilger Kerman climb aboard the Puddle Jumper to explore Ike. Landing on Ike is very similar to landing on one of Kerbin's moons, and the landscape is certainly familiar.
The Puddle Jumper contains scanning equipment for Carborundum, as well as a great deal of scientific equipment, which it uses to conduct low-altitude surveys of the surface. Its mission complete, Puddle Jumper returns to Event Horizon, with little more than fumes in its tanks. Jumper secure, the remainder of the crew is now prepared for the separation of the Duna assembly module. This module contains parts and equipment necessary for the construction of mining facilities on Duna. Eighteen Kerbinots are on board for constructions and operation of this site. are not as capable as they are on Kerbin. This, coupled with the enormous weight of the lander, necessitates the inclusion of powerful carbonite retro rockets for landing. Safely on the ground, Bob Kerbin plants our first flag on Duna. The next few days will be spent on backbreaking hard work, assembling the complex mining facility on the planet. But for now, the crew is happy to have arrived safely. Days later, Bob Kerman performs a final inspection of the now operational Duna facility. The primary habitat contains the advanced 3D printing apparatus that permits construction of advanced parts on Duna. The utility section drills for water under the surface, as well as performing storage and filtration duties for the station. The agricultural module allows the colony essentially indefinite operation. The habitation section houses the ground crew when they are not on shift. The second installation of this facility is the extractor. Primarily solar powered, though able to connect to the local generators, this module extracts ore from the ground and stores it. The third facility is where the majority of on-planet work is performed, the workshop. Here, ore is refined into metal and worked into rocket parts that can be shaped and printed using the massive 3D printing machine on the main habitat. This facility also serves as storage for carborundum and carbonite. Operations on Duna are good to go, and with the launch pad set up, we can now begin efforts towards our next goal, and the focus of our next episode, mining of the rare carborundum resource and construction of a deep space ship. My name is John, thank you for watching.